Hey prospectors, it's Manny. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get iron ingots. This includes where to find the iron ore, how to mine it, and then the needed tech to smelt it into ingots. Before we start, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you know when there's new videos. And if you're looking for someone to game with, you can find me and other players in the Militia Discord server. The link is in the description below. All right, so the first thing we should talk about is the tech we're going to need. All right, so let's look at the tech tree. This is just to actually mine the ore. I'll go over real quick afterwards what you need to actually smelt it. So um, you're going to obviously need a pickaxe, which you get automatically. That one you do have anyway. You're going to need uh, wood rag torches and floor torches. I'll show you how uh, to use those. Uh, we'll also need a bow with some stone arrows. And then... Uh, a nice to have is a small wooden crate. Uh, sometimes you mine so much ore you get over encumbered. If you drop it on the floor, it will despawn after a while. You put it in a crate, it won't. So it's kind of a good idea to have one. You don't need it, not a necessity, but nice to have. The other thing is you need uh, floors and ramps. It could be thatch, but as you saw in my tutorial, which I'll leave in a description, a link to the description below, that I would recommend at least going with wood anyway. So everything is a tier one. To actually mine the ore, the iron ore, you only need tier one. So you get yourself wood floors and wood roof ramps. All right. Now uh, let's see actually how much of each we need. So now if we look at my inventory, see I actually have a small wooden crate. I have a bunch of hours, 124 hours is more than I need. You probably only need to clear a single cave like 20 to 30 hours. It depends on the size of the cave and the number of worms in there. Need some food. You need some fuel for your uh, floor torches. And you can see down here I have six. I'd recommend probably three or four is all you really need. Uh, I always make a few extra. Same thing with wood ramps, uh, ramps and floors. You probably only need two to three of each. Uh, I have seven and five, but you know, it is what it is. And wood rag torch, you only need one of them, plus the bow and your pickaxe. So that's actually what I'm going in with. That's all we're gonna need. So let's head on over the cave and uh, start it up. Iron ore nodes can be found around in and around caves, all right? What I mean is in and around. So this is actually a cave. Now, um, in order to find caves, you're gonna run around and find them yourself, or I actually put a, a link in the description below to a uh, Icarus, the map of Icarus with all the cave locations. Feel free to use it and if you don't wanna go and try to explore and find them all on your own, um, but they don't change, so they're always gonna be the same. So um, this is the first type of, there's two type of cave entrances, the ones that are sealed like this. So as you walk up to it, you can actually come up to it and it's, you can see the little mining pickaxe. And what you're gonna have to do is actually pickaxe your way through uh, to get to the cave, all right? Now the other type is, are the ones that are already open. As you can see, this one is actually open already and you can even see um, the ores uh, nodes sitting right here. So we'll explore this one. Like I said, the other one, you just got to mine through it to get through it. Just make it big enough so that you can crawl through it. Now, uh, what's going to happen is the first thing we're going to do is once you get inside this cave is you're going to deal with the worms. Um, there is anywhere, it depends on the size of the node. I'm sorry, size of the cave. You can get anywhere between like two worms to like seven, eight worms, I guess. So um, as you can see, we're in, uh, we now have the damp uh, debuff right here. And you can see it. So we'll probably end up getting pneumonia at some point and uh, which will reduce our stamina. Now, one other tech thing you could do is once you reach let tier two, you can get yourself, um, you'll need the mortal and pestle, uh, pestle for it as well. You can get yourself herbalism bench and you can get anti uh, antibiotic ton tonic, which will uh, cure pneumonia. But right now we're not dealing with that. So we'll end up getting pneumonia and it'll re greatly reduce our stamina, but it's something we'll deal with. Now, as we move in here, you can see the worms come. There's one, we're gonna shoot them in the face. Stay to one side, because they're gonna spit poison at you. And what you wanna do is leap over the way, and I still get hit by it. And we're just gonna, usually about three shots will uh, kill it. And we're just aiming for the head of the worm. Oh, missed that one, he hit me again. So I got two things of poison on me right now, which is not good, because it can eventually kill you. All right, so we're gonna, Wait a minute for the poison to wear off. We'll eat some food. So that we get some health back. Two, one. All right, poison's off. Uh, get our torch out. As we walk in, I'm going to be just switching between my torch and my bow until we clear the cave. Great. Oh, there's a worm. Oh, I didn't get away from it. I thought I did. 
to the the idea is to actually jump from one side uh one side of the cave when he sh he spits his poison to the other however it is a blast radius so it's amazing at uh how um how wide the area is the uh, the poison is that you get hit by it see my health is pretty low you could walk out wait for your health to regen uh, i'm gonna keep going there shouldn't be too many more worms and hopefully i can dodge one or two so i'm just gonna keep going in until we make sure we clear it all there's the the other thing you do too is line of sight them so you'll see like sometimes there'll be corners or curves you can actually just shoot an arrow and then when he's going to spit you can hide around the corner and it'll hit the uh, the poison will hit in front of you in front of one of the stalactites or stalagmites um and it won't hit you so line of sight them that helps out as well too and don't do what i just did here i ended up getting like four worms on me um if you get four if you get four poisoned by four of them um you can you'll die pretty quickly um that's one of the problems it, it does add up really fast, so try to like move in slowly so you get one or two worms and that's it at a time. That may be the last set of worms. So that's basically the cave, so it's cleared now, no more worms. Now we can just go and mine these ores, these are the iron ores. So first thing we do is go back towards the entrance. We'll start at the entrance. So right here you have copper ore. We don't really care about copper ore right now, we're looking just to get iron, but you can mine this up for uh, XP. Go all the way out to the entrance. Is there any here? We'll look around. There's some iron ore right here. So what we're gonna do is hit Q and drop our torch. Now it's on the ground, and we're just simply gonna mine this ore. Now be careful you don't step on the torch because you will set you on fire. But if you happen to do that, remember there's water in the cave. You can just run over and uh, put yourself out. And you saw that we had uh, water back there. We're not gonna be able to drop the torch in the water. That's where we're gonna use the standing torches. Make sure we get our stamina up, and we're just going to mine. Pick our torch up. And just look for our iron ore. Alright, so the other thing I would suggest is grab the coal as well. This is coal, so that's going to be very important later on. And more iron ore. So we'll just drop it in the middle here. And you can drop the torch here. It would be fine to drop. But if you drop it in the water... It won't work. So, for example, if you couldn't, if you needed to drop an, um, say you're doing that one, we can actually put a standing torch right here. Access fuel. You want to actually split. You don't want to put too much. You can put seven in there, activate it. Now we have a standing torch here. You can collect these. I typically will just leave the standing torches there um, and not worry about um, picking them up. So now I can just sit here and, and mine this ore. So as you can see now I actually have pneumonia, as I mentioned earlier, and my stamina is greatly reduced. A lot of it too is like, when, if you're in the water, sometimes it messes up as far as, um, you can see I only got like two or three swipes at it. This is where that tonic may come in handy. I haven't done it. I usually just do this and deal with it. Because now that the worms are gone, it doesn't really matter. It's irrelevant as far as um, how long it takes me to get this. It depends on if, how, if you're in a hurry. So what we could do is take our... too steep find a spot for it right there and we can actually store our ore in there as we're mining it so that it doesn't take up too much room uh too much uh weight all right so that's it for mining really uh oh i actually wanted to go over one last thing there are sometimes i think this one is actually pretty good but there are cases where there's ore that is hard to get so that is where um the platforms come in handy uh the floors so what you do is you drop a floor here, and then you can uh, even put ramps on the sides of it, ramps up, so that you can actually get to those hard to reach places. So if there was a piece of ore up here, you can use this to get up here. So that's where you use the ramps, and don't forget to recollect your ramps afterwards. Sometimes I leave them there depending on if I wanna um, keep them or not. This one actually looks like a pretty good cave where I wouldn't need um, ramps. I think I can collect everything from this one. All right, let me collect all the things, and we'll go back, and we'll start. Uh, I'll show you how to smelt it. All right, now that we're back at our building, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to smelt. So the first thing you need to be is you have to be level 10, because you need to be tier 2 in order to smelt uh, any ores. So what you have to do is pick up the crafting bench, and then simply the stone first. These are the only two items you actually need to uh, smelt uh, iron. So inside the stone bench, you're going to actually craft the stone furnace, and then once you have it, you're going to... Drop it here. 
So now we're going to drop our iron ingots into it. So they're going to be smelted. Now we could do, obviously you can see down here, that like anything else you use wood, sticks, fiber, uh, coal ore, or comet coal. Now I would suggest not using coal because um, you can you can use this to make steel. I'll go over that next. But So I would always recommend just using wood. It's a little more um, available. And then we simply just activate it and it smelts it. And this is how you get iron ingots. Now it does take, uh, it takes two iron ores to make one ingot. And you can also do the copper in here as well. But we were just showing you how to do iron ingots. Copper ingots the same way. We just show, we showed you where the copper was, same thing. It's the same way. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit that like button below and leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash the subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity, where I stream Friday, Saturday, and Sunday evening starting at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I'd be happy to answer any questions live on stream. Till next time, prospectors, happy hunting.